As President Trump prepares for a possible disaster from Hurricane Florence, he is still defending his response to last year's disaster in Puerto Rico. Tonight, the president is lashing out at critics and a study that found thousands died because of Hurricane Maria. KKL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with more uh -huh. on the president's controversial comments. Dave. Very controversial, mm -hmm. and he's turning it into a political issue. At least he's trying to. In fact, President Trump is now blaming the Democrats, charging they inflated the number of fatalities in Puerto Rico in the reports to make him look bad. It's all part of the president's claim that his oversight of Hurricane Maria operations was incredible. Incredibly successful, not a calamity with thousands of deaths. President Trump finds himself in the middle of a self inflicted disaster after falsely claiming that nearly 3,000 people did not die when Hurricane Maria devastated Puerto Rico last year. President Trump tweeting today that there were less than two dozen deaths when he visited the island a year ago and accusing Democrats of padding the death toll in order to make me look as bad as possible. A lot of love in this room. Puerto Rico increased the official death toll last month after George Washington University published a 69-page study estimating nearly 3,000 people died in the six months after Maria hit. Trump offering no reason to doubt that study today and provided no evidence for his claim that Democrats were to blame as the White House sidestepped questions. The governor of Puerto Rico blasting Trump, La victima de Puerto Rico, saying the victims and the people of Puerto Rico do not deserve to have their pain questioned. The mayor of San Juan telling President Trump to focus on Hurricane Florence, writing in a statement, he should concern himself with doing everything possible to save their lives rather than continuing this senseless effort to make everything about him. Trump facing a surge of criticism from Capitol Hill. I think it's misleading. It's, it's clearly inaccurate. As even his political allies abandon him. Casualties don't make a person look bad. That's not. Uh, so I have no reason to dispute these numbers. Florida Governor Rick Scott breaking with the president, saying he witnessed the devastation in Puerto Rico firsthand. And some other Florida Republicans blasted the president's remarks directly. The president's tweets on the deaths in Puerto Rico was, was heartless. It was cold. It was demeaning, dehumanizing, trivializing the deaths of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Americans. I think that he still believes that Puerto Ricans are not are not Americans. All hurricanes prove to be a challenge for presidents and this moment from Hurricane Katrina. And Brownie, you're doing a heck of a job. That was President Bush's Katrina moment and retired Lieutenant General Russell Honore, who led the relief efforts during Hurricane Katrina, told the BBC President Trump has already had his. And President Trump Katrina moment will be forever remembered with him throwing the paper towels and then going to Puerto Rico and telling the people that they've cost him a lot of money and that he gives himself an A for how they responded. Now, late today, the White House released a statement saying every death from Hurricane Maria is a horror, and the president provided unprecedented support to Puerto Rico. The statement went on to say President Trump was responding to the liberal media and the San Juan mayor, who sadly have tried to exploit the devastation by pushing out a constant stream of misinformation and false mm. accusations. Juan, back to you. 